have bought dogs in the past before without registration papers and have done hours of research on how to register them without knowing if the parents are registered or not or having any pedigree information on the parents. In this video, I will break down how to register a purebred dog that has no papers at all. I currently have three dogs that I had no papers at all and was eventually able to get all three registered successfully. After doing some research, the only registry that I could find that allows an unpapered dog to be registered is the CKC or the Continental Kennel Club. This is done by using their PAW program. The PAW program, otherwise known as the Picture and Witness program, is one that CKC provides to register a purebred dog without any papers at all whatsoever. According to the CKC's website, it was put into place to allow valuable lost genetic lines to be reintroduced to, to a breed population in an effort to combat dwindling gene pools and population bottlenecks found in many pure breeds today. And no, this video is not sponsored by CKC at all. When I purchased Zizi, one of my toy poodles, she did not come with any papers at all and her parents did not have any papers as well. Here's how I was able to register Zizi using the PAW program. I broke this video down into four steps and here we go with step one, which is DNA testing. The first thing that I did was to have DNA testing done on Zizi. I did this because I wanted to be certain that she is 100% purebred since it was my goal to breed her in the future. Bear in mind that if you do not plan to breed dogs or show your dog, then it may not be worth going through the process or the hassle of registering it. The DNA test that I did was through the company Embark and I used their breed and health test kit. The results from Embark took about four weeks to come back, but once they were improving the purebred status of ZZ, then I went ahead and started on her paw application. Which brings us to step two. Step two is getting started on the paw application. For a successful application, CKC has some minimum requirements that needs to be met, and I break each one down here. Firstly, you will need to measure your dog's height, weight, and length. These measurements are needed for the application process. Then, the application must be accompanied by five specific photographs, which I must say must have been the most difficult part of the application process. This was because it was a bit of a challenge taking pictures of her in a still position that were required, even for an adult dog like Zizi. Photos should show the head profile, body profile, both left and right sides, the front body, and also rear body. These photos were the original photos that I took of Zizi when I sent in her application. One main requirement is that the photos must be printed on photo quality paper and should not be edited, which means no filters or photoshopping. There are other requirements that your dog should meet for a successful application. I will link the application in the description below that outlines these requirements. One important one is that your dog should be at least a year old before submitting this application. Another important aspect of your application is that it should include three signatures, yours as the owner and two witnesses to further verify the purebred status of the dog. Before continuing, if you guys find any value in this type of content, then please don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel and like this video. It gives me a sense of encouragement whenever I see some engagement. So go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Now let's move on to step three, which is paying the application fee and mailing in your application. The application itself costs a non-refundable $50 at the time of making this video, which I believe is worth it, especially if your dog is going to be in your breeding program. Once you have finished your application, you're going to mail in all the photos, the application form itself, and I also included the DNA results which I got from Embark just to prove, prove her purebred status. The application process takes roughly 30 days before a result has been made and according to CKC not all applications are successful. I believe however if you follow these guidelines and their requirements then you should have a successful result as I have done this three times with my dogs and all been successful. Let's move on to step four, the final step which is receive your registration in the mail. After the evaluation is complete, you will receive your results in the mail, registration paper along with a laminated identification card of your dog. It is important to note also that your dog will be registered as 
original stock since the pedigree of the dog is unknown. Pedigree meaning the ancestral lineage of the dog is unknown, so your dog will be recorded as the first in its line, which can be good in some cases because ZZ is going to be a start in my line, for example. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or if you know of any other registries that registers on paper dogs, please leave them in the comment section below as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as this will help me out immensely. Also like and share this video if you care. Talk soon and see you guys in the next video. Oh, by the way, wait, check this video out right here, next.